Let's rock it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ron Guitar, and welcome once again to the Metroid Hype Marathon. Last time, we played Metroid Zero Mission, and we defeated the Mother Brain. And now it is time for us to go into the third dimension and experience what many consider to be one of the best, if not the best, Metroid game of all time. Global Retro Studios, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Metroid Prime Trilogy Plus Hunters. And today we'll be starting with the first ever Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube. But we'll be doing the Trilogy version because it's the one that I actually own. I don't actually own Metroid Prime on the GameCube, so I'll be using the Trilogy version that I uh, bought. Actually, I bought the Trilogy version uh, day of release. I bought the Collector's Edition because I wanted to experience the Prime Trilogy. I started the Metroid series with, um, with, uh, what's his face? With Prime 3, but then I lost my save file, so, you know, shit happens. But yeah, we'll be. Uh, some of you may remember that I actually started this playthrough a while back. Um, but because of personal reasons, I would like to begin it. You know, for the hype marathon, I would like to start a chronological order. We'll be going in the order that the series was released, and we'll be going once again, just me. Ten years ago. Below the surface of planet Zebes, the mercenaries known as space pirates were defeated by interstellar bounty hunter Samus Aran. Descending to the very core of the pirate stronghold, Samus exterminated the energy-based parasites called Metroids and defeated Mother Brain, the leader of the pirate horde. But the space pirates were far from finished. Several pirate research vessels were orbiting Zebes while Samus fought on the surface below. After the fall of Mother Brain, the ships escaped, with the hopes of finding enough resources to rebuild their forces and take their revenge. After discovering a possible pirate colony on planet Talon IV, Samus has again prepared for war, hoping to end the pirate threat forever. I still think that's a beautiful intro. Uh, actually, that voice intro you guys just heard is not actually in the game. It's actually something that was removed uh, from the game, and it's a one time of voice acting before other M. That is Jennifer Hale, the voice actress for um, for Commander Shepard in the um, in the uh, Mass Effect in the Mass Effect series, uh, doing the voice for Samus here. And what is it with this lady doing just space women? Like just, her role is just space woman. But yeah, this is uh, Metroid Prime, uh, the first in the Prime Trilogy. Um, I've never beaten this game, uh, but I've gotten somewhat, you know, I've gotten somewhat okay with it uh, in a first distance go. I made it, uh, I apologize for all the barking that you're hearing, uh, you know, family stuff. But anyway, the, con the controls are pretty simple. With the C button, C for cow, you can turn to, cut. sorry about that, we're back. As I was saying, with the C uh, for cow button, you can turn to the mobile. And uh, something added for Trilogy version is that with a flick of the Wiimote, you can actually jump uh, using the Spring Ball. As uh, you know, the one that we got in Metroid Zero Mission. Now, in Metroid Prime for the GameCube, I did play it, I never owned it though. You would just be able to move from left to right, and, I f and you would press left and right in order to change your direction. However, in this game, as Samus will only look at wherever you're aiming with the Wiimote. It works rather well, there's some moments where it can get a bit unprecise, however you can change it so it's closer to um, the original Metroid Prime where it just locks on and you can just go to town um, in, the, um, in the menu. I've always played this way so I'm not gonna be doing that. 
A new addition actually to this game is what we're seeing right now, it's a scan visor. With the scan visor you can, uh, Samus is able to get information on her surroundings and on stuff that she's seen. For example, uh, uh, there, and this will be actually necessary because we'll be trying to scan every, as much as we can. Um, I don't really, I know that there's some stuff that you can scan that is not necessary for 100% completion or to get the best ending. However, I'm going to be scanning everything that I see, if only because I don't know what those things are. I've seen less pieces of the game, but I never am fully sure about what it is because I see some people scanning some orange stuff, so I'm thinking, oh, the orange stuff is important, but they told me no, only the red stuff is important, so you never know. Anyway, I'll try my hardest to get 100% complete uh, scan, and this is kind of spooky. Yes, you can also get information on creatures and enemies around the area, as well as lore and information that was going on. Now, to pretty much explain what's going on here, because we're not going to be reading all of this, Samus got a distress signal from this particular space station, the Orpheon. Um, in, she had a distress signal for help, and so she just went to go ahead and make sure that, not, you know, no bad shit was happening. And what do you know? First thing she sees, bad shit happening. So the space pirates apparently have been doing experiments on different creatures using an, this, a new substance that they discovered. And it is up to us to find out exactly what those experiments are. What is it with this group of idiots just doing really stupid things? Oh, hello! But yeah, there's actually some really guys, nice tension going on here. There's one thing I will always praise Metric Prime for, is its atmosphere. There's one thing this game knows how to do, is atmosphere and just leaving you tense. Like this music, just the fact that the space pirates are not fighting you like they would in Zero Mission or in the other games. They're just dead or barely surviving. It's like, it puts you on edge. And I remember actually playing this game for the first time, uh, a friend of mine from middle school lent it to me. And for the first time I played, I was playing it at night, and dude, I was terrified out of my mind. I was just like, what the hell's happening? Okay, I don't know if I need to scan maps, so just in case. Thank you. But yeah, unless, unless I've already been in that area, I expect me to have the scan visor open for most of the time. Because, especially because I know there's some er some enemies and some areas I know are, like, you miss them and they're gone forever, which is kinda bullshit, in, in my honest opinion. Although you just saw there is our map function. Uh, with it, you can actually, um, of course, see your location and see areas you haven't looked before. However, something new to this game that other games uh, in the series don't do. Uh, use the one button. Uh, occasionally, you will be able to see uh, in one of these locations a question mark. That question mark will actually indicate to you where you should probably go to progress with the plot. However, you are free to go at your leisure as far as turning that hint off and also um, completely ignoring it. There are many players that actually do not follow it for the sake of speedrunning, if I remember correctly. And I will say, this thing for this, this entire setup for Samus, the way that she looks in this game is fantastic. However, I will say some, some parts of her armor do get changed later in the games, and I do think for the better. Like, the little changes they did do from this game to Metroid Prime 3 make me prefer the Prime 3 armor. I'm not saying about the PED suit, not the PED suit, I'm talking about her regular ass Choso armor. I really like how it looks in Metroid Prime 3. And yeah, again, I would love to just sit, I would love to actually like, do a place where I'm sitting down and reading all of this. Unfortunately, that's not a, not something I can do right now for the let's play purposes. I would, I would probably do that on my own time, just take one day where I'm just doing nothing but reading this. I'm not, I'm not trying to scan the, the door, I'm trying to scan the enemy, thank you. Uh, yes, are you okay? Okay, that's good. Okay, excuse me. And you do that. Oh yes, also by holding the A button you can charge your beam, and if you're charging your beam you can actually attract items dropped from enemies to come back to you. Such as health! But yeah, if you actually take your time to read all of this, it actually does a great amount of setup. And there's one thing I will always compliment Metroid, regardless of the Metroid. Well, at least for the ones that I've played. Setup and build up to stuff is something that this series does wonderfully. Ow, probably should have scanned that. Yeah, you can press um, 
I believe it's down on the D-pad in this version to shoot out uh, your missiles. As always, we'll be getting missile expansions later, we've gotten a lot more powerful. But one thing that, again, every Metroid fan will question, what the hell happened to all of Samus' items? Where is all of this shit that, that, that we gained in Zero Mission and in the other, any other stories that may happen in between? Did she just sell most of her items? Because she only has 15 missiles. And if I remember correctly, we ended Zero Mission with around 280. Yeah, let me scan you. Yeah, pretty much if Samus says recorded to lockbook, it means that item is one that you had to scan for uh, completion's sake. And yeah, some of you might remember this particular enemy that we just scanned right here. The, um, the... Let me see, face on level, okay. Uh, but yeah, some of you might remember that enemy as being from uh, other Metroid games, and this is its only appearance in this particular game. I don't remember if it appears in other Met in other Prime games, but I know this is its only appearance in Metroid in Metroid Prime One. Okay, when you check the elevator, but yeah, with scan you can pretty much do it's pretty much your action button. You can scan uh, items to activate them, to get information on them, and to get stats. Excuse me. Let me put you on your enemies, everybody. This music is just unnerving. So something that I find interesting, like, even though we already scanned uh, a space power that is behaving like this one, it shows it as a completely new scan. Excuse me, we did not do that. I'm trying to get information here. Maybe because these ones are plot pirates instead of like just regular mooks. Yeah, and one thing I will say is that sometimes it's a bit hard to be precise about what you're trying to scan. Like, you need to have your reticle exactly where you want it for it to work most of the time. Like, it's pretty precise for the most part, as long as you're holding it in front of... Uh, like, directly in front of you. But there are moments where, you know, as you saw previously, you'll be trying to scan the wall, and you accidentally end up scanning the enemy in front of the wall. Yeah, another nifty function is, uh, yeah, you're gonna jump with the B button, if you're locked onto an enemy, you can actually uh, strafe, uh, strafe around them and you can do a side dash by pressing uh, oh, by pressing B and side. Like so, and it's actually pretty useful for dodging attacks. Thank you. Oh, didn't mean to shoot another one. There we go. Let's see here. Thank you. Oh, you got fucked up. Again, I know there, I know professional Metroid players will be like, oh, you didn't need to scan, you're wasting precious time, but again, I don't know what actually counts for scan completion. If it's just the rest of, let me know in the comments below so I don't waste my fucking time. Excuse me, I'm scanning this. Thank you. No, not you, not you. Damn, see? If anyone there's a lot of stuff put together. Sam, scan the one in front of you. Also, Buddy, I know you are the enemy, but if you know that you're probably about to die from what's behind these doors, what's the point of trying to fight me? I, I am here to fix the shit you started. Thank you. Okay, and here we have our save room. Yeah, let's do a quick save here real quick. You know, just to make sure we don't lose any progress in case of anything. Save room, I don't remember if they... Yes, they do heal you. So if you're ever in a pickle, just run back to a save room and you should be okay. As long as you don't die on the way there, that is. I'm actually kind of happy that getting the best endings in the Prime series doesn't depend on how fast you are. Because the Prime series is the one that, it, that from what I remember, is the one that is easiest to get lost at. Not counting Super Metroid. But this game is super easy for you to get lost in. 
but it's also super immersive. Like, I love the effects that happen with Samus' visor. You probably have noticed it earlier when there was some steam going around, it just hits her right in the face and you feel the steam just on your face with how it hits the visor. But anyway, enough about that. Now it's time for our first boss, Parasite Queen. This was one of the this is the result of what happens when space pirates do stupid shit. So let's try scanning this little woman. Yeah, of course boss can take longer. Let's see what it says. Morphology is Parasite Queen, Parasite Female, genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak point has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire a new target. Scans indicate the presence of highly potent mutagen, or origin unknown. Fusion exceeds the ability to fire weapon grenades, weapon grenade blasts out of its out of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in its stardom parasite genome. It appears that space parasites have, have begun bioengineering program with considerable results. So yeah, now we scan that we can uh, aim at its mouth, which is the weak point. However, you can't fire anywhere else at it, and you'll still cause damage. As long as you're shooting near its mouth, you'll be doing uh, you'll be doing some massive damage here, and this fight should should attack you pretty easy. I did get this far in the game last uh, when I played it, so don't worry. I at least know I'm not gonna die here if I don't screw up. That is. Uh, look at me! Look at me! Let me shoot it in your mouth. That's not worse than I intended it. I apologize. Stop that. Yeah, sometimes it'll just make the shield go bonkers like this, and then you'll just have to wait until it comes down, because the hitbox... I believe the hitbox is 100% active during that process. But yeah, that's the end of the Parasite Queen. Uh, something that the trilogy version adds is um, just uh, this uh, achievement system, which you can use to... If the more achievements you, you beat, you can um, obtain concept art and such like that. But because the Parasite Queen costs a lot of damage, we kind of have to get out of here because the place is about to blow. Uh, let's see here. I hope that I got pretty much everything because I doubt I would put something that you need for block completion in this area while you're about to die. Okay, let's go, elevator, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, I ran out of missiles. Okay, I got my trusty power shot. Okay, good. Yes, if you scan those things, the turrets um, that would be getting in your way will be disabled. Oh, hello! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> but yep. Okay, let's see here. Anything important here? Okay, let's see here. Where was it supposed to be? Yeah, look up there. Oh, yeah, and fire indeed hot. Fire indeed hot. Hello! Okay. As always, you can charge your beam with the A button, don't forget about that. Seriously, we are about to die. Run towards your evacuation sector or anything like that. I need to scan that. Shit. Okay. Actually, something you might want to know the morpho, if I remember correctly, as long as you are either on solid. On flat floor or on an incline is faster than regular walking, so if you want to be faster, just go into morphal mode and just go quickly. Well, I'm not sure if it's faster, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it's faster, but it might just be that because of the animation it feels faster. Because it looks like I'm playing monkey ball right now with all these tubes. Okay, let's see here. It looks like me transforming back into regular mode just made that well explosive. Oh my god, it's Lord Samus, my apologies, sir. Excuse me, get off me. Yes, uh, even though it's best to shoot these things with missiles, you can't uh, destroy them with a regular uh, charge shot. No, don't close up on me. I don't have time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I scanned those things in the beginning, so I'm good. Yes, you can also use the uh, the morpho bombs to blow up, not blow up, but uh, hit the doors because, um, yeah, pretty much anything that can cause damage uh, will open up. And bombs, even though they aren't as useful, oh, photo, you know they aren't as useful uh, for combat purposes. They are pretty useful as far as like you know just quick traveling and doing some neat uh, skip, uh, some speedrunning tricks here and there. 
Come on. Let's, have Let's go. We got no time. Okay, good. Pretty much by here, we're pretty close to the exit. But here's the reveal for our, one of our main goals in the game. May I introduce Meta Ridley. This is a bio... a bio... Uh, bio... machine enhanced version of the same pterodactyl that killed our parents and that we fought in Metroid Zero Mission. However, um, I don't know how that happened. I don't understand how that thing didn't fully die. Other M somewhat goes into this, but until then, this is the same Ridley as always. Yeah, Meta Ridley, Exoskeleton, thank you for the information that you just explained. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, it, it, it's time for this bullshit part. So, Samus, warrior of the Chozo, given one of the best and most powerful weapons in the entire universe, loses it to an explosion. Good job, Sammy. Good job. So now we lost our various, which means we're not that we're susceptible to hit once again. We lost our missiles, we lost the more ball, we lost the more ball bombs, we lost the charge beam. We literally the only thing that we have left is a little peach shooter that shoots lemons. That's all we got. And that's all we're gonna have to be using until we get our items back. Okay, which way was I supposed to be up? Not that one! <laughs> Fuck with the pitch rising shit, let me out! I'm gonna die! You asshole. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm trying. Just out of instinct to go faster, I tried pressing the more bubble and, and forgot it didn't work. But you understand why it still works. But that's it. That's your Fion. But yeah, now our goal is the following follow Ridley, make sure he doesn't do bad shit. And find out what the hell they were using to transform the enemy, the creatures, in like the parasite, into those disgusting monstrosities. And you know, make sure they don't do that again. And just let you know, if you guys don't like this, you know, first person approach, there isn't a way you can play this game, just without any other plot. Metroid Prime Pinball for the th for the DS. <laughs> <laughs> 